Hey guys, so let's see. Let x bar be the mean of a random sample of size 36 and with the exponential distribution with mean 3. And we need to find approximate the x bar. So we need to transform this exponential distribution to a normal distribution using the, centru the central limit theorem. So x bar now would be normally distributed with the mean, remember the mean of a sample is the same as the population. So the mean is also 3 and the, and the variance is going to be sigma squared over n. Now the mean is 3 so sigma square, we don't need sigma square, but we need sigma of the sample. So sigma squared of an exponential distribution is the mean square, which is 9. So the square of 9 is 3, divided by the square of n, which is 36. Remember, this is sigma squared, so the standard deviation will be the square root of sigma squared and that would be a normal distribution with mean 3 and standard deviation 0.5 so now and guys don't forget this is what i'm going to do is for those that have a ci-89 titanium and because i don't have one a virtual one then i just decided to plug my calculator to my computer so I can show you how it looks like. In your 89 titanium, there is a button above the Z that says catalog. It's right below app. And when you click on catalog, you will see this. Then, after, and when, then you click F3, the flash app right here, F3, you would get those things now. So what we're going to look for is the norm CDF and when you go down you will get to the norm CDF then you click on it and oh no nope, not that no and you will see uh, it says low up mu and sigma so for your low, here it says that your low is 2.5, so 2.5, comma, your high is 4, comma, your mu now is 3, and your standard deviation is 0.5. So let's see, so you guys can see how high how you written, so 2.5, comma, 3, comma, 4, comma, 3, 0.5 and press enter and then i can press uh here and you will see the answer is 0.818595 so this is for those who have a ti 89 titanium so remember you go to catalog you click on f3 and then you go down to norm cdf uh, and then you put the, the numbers in so this is how you do the how you transform an exponential distribution to a normal distribution using the central limit theorem so you can get the answer faster uh, easier and quicker so guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh, i hope you actually understood first of all and thank you for watching that video uh, if you have any comment you can comment i think i'm gonna have to approve them later because i'm not sure why but and feel free to like it or to comment, uh, doesn't matter. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.